How can robots help a billion people? Dump them in the water. The robots. The Bay of Bengal off the coast of the Indian subcontinent is about to get a whole bunch of new inhabitants. Robots. A collaborative research project between scientists in India and the UK is going to study the monsoon season to get a deeper understanding of what's going on and potentially benefit up to a billion people. To top it all off, the project is called the Bay of Bengal Boundary Level Experiment, or Bobble. This story was made for me. But first, some background. During the summer, the Indian subcontinent heats up due to the solar maximum moving north of the equator. Meanwhile, the Indian Ocean remains relatively cool, and this creates a temperature gradient running south to north. Throw in some rotation of the Earth, and you get those typical monsoon winds that happen every summer. As the winds move across the ocean, they pick up moisture and form clouds and rain. In fact, India gets 80% of its annual rainfall in the monsoon season. I'm talking 10 meters of rain, or around 33 feet. That is incredibly significant. So if we can learn more about how the monsoon season works, we could work with people in India to plan out subsistence farming approaches, or even prepare for flooding in areas that are at risk. So how are they doing it? Well, they're relying on a three-pronged approach, including weather satellites, a facility for airborne atmospheric measurement aircraft, and robots. Let's take the aircraft first. So an FAAM aircraft has a ton of instrumentation upon it that can measure things like atmospheric pressure, temperature, the chemical composition of the troposphere, plus coordinate with weather satellites. Meanwhile, inside the bay itself will be seven robots that are about human size. They're called sea gliders. And these things are amazing. First of all, their propulsion system is awesome. Instead of a propeller, they actually leverage small changes in buoyancy and a pair of wings to move through the water. They use the battery inside the robot as ballast to change the pitch and roll. Now this makes the propulsion system incredibly energy efficient, so it can dedicate more power to its instrumentation and stay underwater for longer. Now these robots will gather data underwater in the Bay of Bengal throughout the monsoon season and surface to beam that information back to the research team. The combination of this data from air, sea, and space will give scientists a much deeper understanding of the monsoon season. It will also lead to better computer models and predictive algorithms for weather in the Indian subcontinent and help people plan for and protect themselves from the rainy season. Now this is an example of a project that I think embodies the spirit of forward thinking, using science and technology to benefit lots of people. Anyway, that leads me to a question for you guys this week, and this week I'm asking for your help. Are you aware of any awesome scientific projects we should highlight on our show? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you to Toyota for sponsoring our show and making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button and join the Forward Thinking Think Tank by subscribing to our channel. Then check out these other amazing videos about the future right over here.